A Lay of Old Time by John Greenleaf the Deer One morning of a first set fall, poor Adam and his bride sat on the shade of Eden's wall, but on the outer side. She, blushing in a thick leaf suit of a chaste garb of old, he sang our his bitter fruit for Eden's droops of gold. Behind him, smiling in the morn, the forfeit garden lay, before them, wild with rock and fawn, the desert stretched away. They heard the air bow from the hand, a light step on a third, and lo, they saw before them stand the angel of the Lord. Arise, he said, well, look behind, when hope is all before, in patient hand and willing mind, your loss may yet restore. I leave a few spell whose power can make the desert glad, and call around your fruit and flower as fair as Eden had. I clove your hands of power to lift the curse of your soil, your very doom shall seem a gift, your loss again through toil. Go, cheerful as your humming bees, to labor as to play, while glimmering over Eden's trees the angel passed away. The pilgrims of the world went forth, obedient to the word, and found wherever they tilled the earth a garden of the Lord. The thorn tree cast its evil fruit and blushed of plum and pear, and seeded grass and frodden rod grew sweet benefit here. We share our primal parents' fate, and in our turn and day look back on Eden's sordid gate as sad and lost as way. But still for us as native skies the betying angel leaves, and leads for toil to paradise, new Adams and new Eves.